close. So please welcome Chef Roble, everybody. It's so nice to see you. You're so young. Uh, yeah, I'm working on it. Yeah, well, listen, I know that your grandfather was a chef, and he actually yes. prepared a meal once for President John F. Kennedy, which is pretty cool. Amazing. He, he told me that story a million times, and then, like, just, just seeing him do that, you know, just let me know that it's, it's, it's cool for a guy to be a, a chef. And he really got you interested in food and cooking and this all those so things. Yeah, yeah. I always looked up to him. And I, you know, I thought he was the coolest guy in the world. So for me to be able to be doing the same thing that he did professionally is, you know, makes me happy. And we should mention that you actually prepared a meal for President Obama and the First Lady. I did. So that must have been exciting for you. Exciting and nervous. Oh, that was so yeah, brief. I bet you were nervous. But oh. did they appreciate it? Did they say that the food was delicious? I got good reports back. Okay, excellent. So. Well, you're going to teach us all to be good enough chefs that we could cook for the president first lady well maybe we'll and try. what you're going to tell us you can make a very delicious salmon dish yes. that is beautiful and not that hard to do it's easy it's seasonal and a, a kid can do this really so you so, marinated the salmon yes we have salmon it's, it's olive oil and a few different kinds of herbs parsley mint tarragon a little bit of olive oil Sear it right in the pan. Just make sure there's a little bit of salt on there. I'll take right. that for you. Hit it with a little bit of pepper. Yeah. Now, how long do you cook salmon for? Because I always screw that up. Well, it depends on how thick it is and everything like that. But I like mine medium. So, like, these little thin cuts, they'll cook in, like, 45 seconds. Should you turn that one yeah, that I'm we put in? Exactly. Okay. Yes. Not that I'm telling Chef Roble how to do his Boom, job. That, but beautiful. there you go. That looks beautiful. Yes. And now you put that on a bed of... This is really seasonal, as you said. Super seasonal. These are all spring items. So right here, you, you have some baby kale, and you have some market spinach. Simple, and, and it's cheap. None of stuff is expensive. So you right basically, here. can I put this on top of the asparagus, well, or do you want to drizzle? It first. Okay. So you shake that up for me. That's oh, white balsamic. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. That's okay. White balsamic vinegar, olive oil. Oh, it shakes right on the bottom. Yeah, Duh. Okay, go. okay go. good. A little salt and pepper. Okay. We're going to lightly dress that right there, right? Okay. So you can mix that around. All right. And then just pop it right just there on the plate. Just put it on yes, the plate on top of the asparagus. Yes, ma'am. Then you take your seared. See, this looks so nice. This is very Eastery and spring -timey, don't you think? Yes, very. You put that, very, and then very, you basically very. take the seared salmon. Yes. Did I mess that up? No, it's nice. You okay. did a good job. You want to sprinkle some of these radishes on sure, there? Sure, sure. Right, and I'm going to come in with the salmon. Okay. And voila. Super seasonal. Super a delicious easy. dinner, right, everybody? Yeah. And for a... For dessert, this looks great. Tell us, Chef Roble, what is in this? Okay, so here, this is a, a healthier version of a not so healthy dessert that we do. Um, it is uh, Greek yogurt, some hazelnuts, some chocolate. We have like crushed up corn flakes and toasted hazelnuts and a little bit of banana. So it's like a chocolate hazelnut yogurt sundae. Yum, that looks delicious. And you, by the way, I know you have your own reality show and yes. you w work with different, uh, I guess, clients. What's the strangest request you've ever gotten? Uh, once I had to cater a party, uh, a wedding for two dogs. And, Seriously? Uh, a three-course meal for 30 dogs. It was, yes. Yeah, st really? Yeah. Wow. We pulled it off, though. We pulled it you off. You did? Yeah. That is so yeah. funny. So you've been keeping busy and on the side. So mm -hmm. when you're not catering d uh, dinners for dogs, mm -hmm. you're also actually creating your own new scent. Yes, yes. And I, I have it right here. Yes, it's called Click by Roble. And, and what it is, is it, it, it's based on foods, but like foods that you would actually want to smell like, you know, uh -huh. smell delicious. So like, Not like um, salmon. No, not like salmon. <laughs> you smell like salmon tonight. Like, more like this blood orange uh, sparkler that we have right here. That's like the top note when you first smell it. It's, it's very citrusy. And then once it once it settles in, it gets, it gets more to something like this, like so chocolate. It has hazelnut. a little chocolate in it? Yes. Yes. Yum. Yes. And there's like, you know. Yes, there's some floral sea in there too. There's like uh, like iris and, and tuberose and a few other flowers. I like it. It's I've been doing beautiful. this. So I'm, I've, I've been learning a lot about this whole fragrance thing. And it's, it's, well, that's it's really great. Exciting. Well, you've been very busy. Thank you for stopping by and showing us how to cook these delicious dishes. And by the way, all the recipes will be on our website in case you all missed how to do some of that because we did it so quickly. Here you go. It smells great on you. Thank you. And we'll be back right after this.